Today I'd like to talk about some of the alignment tools. They're located in the transform pull-down menu. First one we'll look at is liner axis to liner axis. And when you activate it, system will hover over any axis it can and highlight. So the general rule of thumb is you want to click on the axis that you want to align from. And I'm going to click once right there on the inside edge of the tire. And then you want to click on the edge where you want it to go. And we're going to drop it down, click once there, it drops into place. This is the same convention with the point to point alignment. I want to hover over and you see it turn red when I'm over a point. I click once and then I'm going to hover over another point, click again, drops into position. Now a lot of times you'll need to align objects from different assemblies. So I'm going to open up another assembly and merge it into the current document here. And I want to take an object that's logical. So I know this mount goes on the back of this object, so I'm going to use the liner axis to liner axis again. I click once. And what's nice, I can actually go right on the edge, uh, not just the axis. So I'm going to hook this edge to this hole right there. And you can see it's reversed, so I'm going to hold the shift key down and reverse the direction. Drop it into place. Now I can grab all these other parts and use a tool called Copy Transformations in World Coordinate Space. And when you select that and you pick the part that had the last transformations and it'll drop all the transformations from the first part onto the second part. I'm going to jump over another file here and show you a plane to plane alignment. So I'm going to grab the, there's a little wrench on here, I'll grab, bring this up. Go plane to plane. Now I want to zoom into the plane that I want to snap to again. Same thing. I click once. And then I zoom into the bolt where I want to put it. In this case, it'll be this one. Again, it's reversed, so I'm going to hold the shift key down to reverse it. Drops it right into position. Now there's a couple other options that are available in these uh, setups. And one of them is uh, keep pivot position mode. So if I put keep pivot position mode, and then I'm going to copy plane to plane again, I'm going to select this object over here, and you'll notice that I'm going to rotate this object around its own pivot point with the plane to plane alignment. So I'll click the top of this plane, and now watch the bolt because it's going to just rotate around its own axis, but now it's, it's the exact same plane is there. And another convention is, if you don't have anything selected, it'll grab whatever axis you pick. But if I had this bolt selected and went on this axis, it would still move this bolt. So you want to make sure you uh, either select the bolt or have nothing selected. Click once here. And then we're going to put this over here. Again, I'm going to hold the shift key down. So I want to talk about copy locations. Now if I select an object and I use this tool, copy location in world coordinate space, it's going to put it right on top of the, the last one if I click on it. It's exactly in the same position. Now if I want to look at that, I can see I had two of them exactly on top of each other. Now there's some other options with this too, copy location in parent. So I'm going to open up this example here. Now let's take a look at this last one. Um, copy location and parent. This is a, sounds a bit confusing, but basically it's not the world coordinate, it's going to be its local coordinates in the parent. And to show you what the local coordinates are, I can multi-select these guys. And if I put this in multiple gizmos mode, I can see each of the objects has its own local coordinate system. So I'm going to start off by just taking this object and moving it up to about here. And now I can take a next object and copy location and click here and it drops up in its own local coordinate system in the parent. I can still do this with multiple objects too as well because they're all based on their own local coordinate system. I hope that helps. Thanks.